Yes, that's good. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Hi, my name is Warren G. Hardy. I was the 29th president of the United States. I served from 1921 to 1923. Now, during my time in presidency, I instated many bills that led to American prosperity throughout the 1920s. My political view was that there should be less government in business and more business in government. I was one of the very few presidents that allowed political machines to have political power in the government. But, uh, hold on, I'm getting something in my headpiece. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. I've just gotten word that my political machines are turning on me. They're using their power for personal gain. This wasn't supposed to happen. My future, my career, my presidency is... Yo, what is up, Americans? It is Cool Cal Coolidge. I was the 30th president of the United States, and I served from 1923 to 1927. Now, you want to know what my political stance was. I thought America was perfect. We were in a state of prosperity like no one's ever seen before. In fact, you see this bill? Forget about it. I rarely signed any bills throughout my entire presidency. In fact, I was so quiet and reserved, someone came up to me during a dinner and said, I bet I can get more than three words out of you. You know what I said? You lose. In fact, I never even fell out of people's political favor. I just didn't feel like running for a second term. Guess that brings some new credence to the name Cool Cow Coolidge. Hello, my name is Herbert Hoover. I was the 31st president of the United States, and I served from 1929 to 1933. Now, I must explain what happened during this time. Originally, I was known as a great humanitarian. Before my presidency, I helped Europe recover from the war. I gave them food. I even helped Soviet Russia. I gave them food as well. But as to my presidency, I thought I could help more people. I could help our people, Americans. But as you know, my political stance was that no one should go hungry, no one should go cold, and everyone should voluntarily help these people. But then the Great Depression hit, and there was just nothing I could do at that point. I tried to cut taxes. I tried to make a federal budget. I even tried to keep my political stance and make sure everybody voluntarily helped those in need. But my political opponents in Congress, they all painted me as an evil and oppressive kind of president. And by then, I was ruined. In fact, I fell so far out of political favor, there was nothing I could do against my next candidate, and there was no way for me to make amends to what I caused.